Hi, right, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be a uh, how to test repair type of video on a Red Snapper 25 mile uh, fence charger. Um, I think they still make this and maybe look a little different or maybe a different label on the front, but um, I think they basically look the same. This would be pretty the same kind of repair or same kind of unit as a uh, uh, Zariba 25 mile or a uh, Blitzer 25 mile, American Farmworks 30 mile, something like that. The same, maybe different case, but the guts are basically the same for the most part. Just different sticker on the front. But there's information for you. Fencerfixer.com is our website. There's our address. If you uh, have one of these units and want us to take a look at it for you, happy to take a peek. Um, we do work on all brands and ages of these electric fence boxes. So if you got an old one sitting in the barn somewhere, instead of letting it sit there and collect dust and to box it up and ship it here and let's take a look at it for you so I'm trying to find the right bit I think these have a torx in them yeah all right kind of find the bit here I need to take this thing apart I think it's this one yep there it is all right so I didn't even plug it in I half the time I don't I just open them up tear into them because they're in here for a reason, so you don't have to tear them through anyway, so I might as well, instead of dicking around with it and plugging it in, just open it up. Come on. Come on. God dang. Alright, let me get a screwdriver and put a little persuasion on it. All right, the, up to the 75 mile units like this, they are very similar in the way that they look. Um, so from like the 15, 10, 15 mile, or whatever the smaller ones are, all the way up to the 75 mile, they're all similar on the inside, different, maybe a different capacitor board or transfer might be a little different, but they're all set up wise, they're all about the same. So I don't know what this thing does. I don't know if it comes on. I don't know if it pulses, clicks, or does anything. So I'm just going to start testing a few things before I plug it in. First thing I want to test, I want to test the, the primary side of the transformer and see if it's good or bad. It should be 0 to 1 ohm. 0 0.2, so that's good. Uh, the output over here, I'm not sure what it's supposed to read. Uh, 13 and a half, that's probably okay. So the transformer, I think at the moment it's fine. So I want to pull it kind of up and out of the way a little bit. Actually, I'm going to unplug the cord from it. Now test this capacitor. I think it's a seven microfarad. If I had to take a guess, the numbers are kind of squirrely on it. But we're going to test the capacitor. And if you don't you got to test one correctly. Look at your meter if you're trying to do this on your own. Um, look at your meter. Not all meters have this feature, but some do, some don't. That symbol right there, the yellow symbol right above my finger, that's the symbol for a capacitor. That's the symbol for a dial. That's the symbol for resistance, so it's not any of those. That's the symbol for continuity. Come on, focus, you stupid thing. But anyway, that's the symbol for it, right? That yellow symbol right there. So we're going to refocus okay there you go so we're going to go across there and see if it, what it reads no polarity to it all right we don't get anything let's unplug it real own wire from it first just to make sure we're not getting a weird feedback reading or whatever you want to call it from the from the board so we're going to unplug one wire doesn't matter which one and we'll retest it 7.5. I think it's a seven and a half. I think it's what a seven or seven and a half. So this capacitor is good. So our issues in the board, I'm gonna guess. So let's put that wire back on there. So look the board over real quick for plug it in. Oh, bugs. There's ants in it right there. And there's a bad resistor there. But see, this has like chips on it and some stuff, some other stuff. So 
I don't really go into in depth trying to work on these boards. Sometimes I do, but some, most times I don't. Um, but yeah, there's ants all clustered around there, and that SCR there, or transistor, whatever the heck it is, SCR. And this resistor looks like it's gotten hot. A bunch of ants across the power cord right there as well. Can't see it, but they're in there. So I'm going to just, since, you know, you never know what's going to go on with with bugs and electronics. So instead of taking a chance and dicking with the board, let me just go grab another board. So give me just a second here. All right, this is the board I've got. This is actually a two-jewel board for a 50-mile unit. And it's the old-style one. But for the older old school units, but if you look, fits right down there the same way. Now none of the um, contacts on the board, the tabs that you plug wires onto, are, are labeled. I mean, you know, black, red, capacitor, whatever. None of them are labeled. They're just labeled with J1, J5, J4, all that kind of type of stuff. Now the good thing is, I believe that. Even though the connections are in different spots on the board, the J whatever is the same. So no matter what you which board I'm putting in there, the whatever J1, J2 is, that's the same thing on this board. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to um, now we got we got to figure out a way to get this capacitor back in there. We may have to um, could see it's bolted to the board with this nut there, the stud on the back side. So what we we're going to undo the bolt, pull the capacitor off. And because you can't bolt it to this, there's no hole there, and where it would set at over here or over here, there's all this crap in the way and solder joint and stuff in the way, so it can't go there. But we may just set it right here, and it may have to just kind of rest underneath this capacitor, right? Or transformer, right, kind of set underneath it, possibly. You might fit under there. So let's, um, I'm, I'm going to take the nut loose off of this. God dang, it's under tight. There. Okay, so this looks like capacitors on J6 and 5. So I'm going to plug those, 6 and 5. So I'm going to go to J6 and 5 over here. 5 and 6 right there. So there's not a polarity. You know they got black and red wires on there. There's not a polarity to the capacitors. So looks like five's right here, six is right here, and power cord was on J1 and J2, which that's what I figured it was, but looking at the other board, it's pretty certain that they're going to go there, clean the ants off there. J1 and J2 right down here. So that means the other two tabs, J4 and J3, which looking at it, there was up here and up there. So J4 and J3, yeah, they're exactly the same on the the plugs that for the capacitor. So we're gonna see if the capacitor is set right there. May have to tape it down or something to keep that capacitor in place. But let me just kind of test fit things, and then we're gonna, gonna need, still need to plug things in and just verify that that board I put in there is good. Which I think it is. So we're gonna put the black one down here since that's the closest wire to the transformer at the furthest point for it. So it shouldn't have to reach all the way over here. And if we need to, I always make the wires longer. Let's pick this up real quick. Let's drop it down like this. Pass through there. Okay, it's going to fit underneath. I need to see you put some like double-sided tape or something like that on there. To Okay, I'm going to have to make the, the, this red wire longer. It's not long enough. But electrically, I think we're going to be okay. So let's plug it in. Let's see if it goes to clicking. 
All right, you hear it clicking there. Lights a little dim, but it, you know, it gets burned out. No, there's not, not too bad. You can still see pretty good. Let's um, uh, plug it real quick. Let's put my uh, fence tester across there, where the heck it's at. Across here and here, plug it back in. All right, getting 9,500 volts out of the thing, or a little over nine. So transformer's good. Board's good now. I just gotta, I gotta mess around with this wiring a little bit because. Uh, the wires are too short to reach for a lot of the board set in place but uh, so the capacitor was good transfer was good board was bad so we're going to put an old school board in there it's a two jewel board for a 50 mile unit so it basically doubles the power out of the thing but that's the transfer is made for this one's made up to a two for a two jewel so it's going to handle the power just fine so, but that's basically, yeah, I got a four out the wiring, which I'm not going to bore you with that. I'm just going to cut and splice and make the wires longer and get the board sitting there. I'm going to add some double-sided foam that we have. I'm going to put that on the back side of this capacitor, fasten it to the case so that it stays put, that it doesn't move around, and put the case back on and call it done. So that's what we're going to do with this one. So hopefully that helps you out. You know, if you got any questions, you're welcome to ask down below in the comments area or send me a text or you call me or send me an email or if you just want to box up ship it here let me, let me do it for you, or, you know, labor's pretty cheap uh shipping's pretty cheap for one of these and parts aren't super expensive either so you know so you can fix them cheaper than you can buy a new one even with shipping both directions and we do give free quotes all right so that's it for this video i'm going to finish it off on my own and we'll go on to the next one until next time, see you later.